day three of the trip coming into Nassau, Bahamas. And I'm pretty sure those buildings right over there are a resort called Atlantis. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Atlantis is a, well, obviously lots of hotel rooms, a uh, resort. There's a casino there too, but the big star is a uh, water park that they have there too, which is said to be amazing, like world-class water park. Um, and it better be because on these shore excursions, it's usually around $200 per day. I don't know if I could ever get $200 worth of enjoyment, you know, from essentially nine to five, less than that technically, because you have to be on the boat by five. So it seems like a lot for such a short time, but people rave about it, so maybe they know something I don't. Oh, we're going to dock. I think there's already a ship over there. Let me zoom in a little. Yeah, that looks like a ship, right? There'll be other ships here. There usually are. We were told we're gonna be in the last uh, berth or pier. And so it'll be a 10 minute walk for us to get off the ship and then go over, you know, get out of the pier area. But that's okay, because uh, Josh and I are doing a reef and or snorkel, a reef and snorkel tour where we're gonna hop on a boat on the pier and then they'll take us out to one of the reefs and we'll be able to snorkel and drink. <laughs> Not in that order, right? I think you can snorkel first and then you can drink. They don't let you drink before you snorkel because uh, that is dangerous. But yeah, coming up on it here. And <sighs> so incredible. I know it looks like just a flat island from here, but we'll get obviously some views as we get closer or when we're on. scrambled eggs and bacon and a donut. I got pretty much the same thing I got yesterday. Ham and cheese omelet. Got breakfast potatoes today though instead. Orange juice water. Josh got some coffee. And then back to the view of us coming in. Yeah, but I was pretty sh I think I was right about that. That's Atlantis over there on the left. Those big buildings. And we're coming into the port now. This is pretty cool. Maybe that wasn't a cruise ship because... Or we're not going to the same place I think we are. Because <laughs> it looked like there's docks over here, but that might not be the ones we're going to. I don't know. We'll find out. Here we are backing into our berth. And we are the furthest one. I see a senior frogs over there. Those poor senior frogs, they just get old and are forced to work there. <laughs> um, I've heard good things about that place. I, I know that it's not the only senior frogs you can go to in the world, but I've never been to one. So maybe I'll hit this one. And I love the colorfulness of a, a number of the buildings that you can see. One right there. It's kind of a purple and uh, aqua one back there. It's pretty cool. After our snorkel, we're gonna come back and we're going to shower and get changed and then do a walking tour that I found online. Not like a paid walking tour, but one that just you can walk it yourself and takes you past a number of the important sites to see. It's about a two hour walking tour. But of course, if you stop for stuff, then it might be three hours or so, which we plan to do, and then once you're done with that. And it, it starts at the ship area, and you, then you come back to the ship area once you're done. Seems like it'll be a lot of fun. Walking around a city is the best way to introduce yourself to it, and for it to introduce yourself or itself to you. And we don't need a guide for that. We have the internet. And here it is, Sunday morning, changing out the carpets. If you're on vacation like this, sometimes you forget what day it is, so it's very smart. it is now Sunday. This should be a plan. Got off the ship, and there's another ship here too, the Independence of the Seas. 
so not like yesterday where it was just us. I didn't expect that. There are other cruise lines obviously coming here. That one happens to be Royal Caribbean, but you could have a carnival here or a Disney cruise ship here. Um, we're just waiting for them to take us to where our boat is. Apparently we just check in here, like right over where these short excursion people are. There's, there's our ship, we just got off of that. And they'll walk us over there when it's time. Pretty cool. Nice harbor. Lots of different excursions you can do from here. We're doing a reef and snorkeling tour, but there's like uh, by land and sea where they'll do a little bit of boat and then you get hop on a bus and you go drive around there. There are walking tours. There are food tasting tours. Uh, you can go over to Atlantis like we were talking about and they'll shuttle you over there. Um, you can uh, do fishing, um, snorkeling like we talked about and uh, glass bottom boat tours. There's just so much you can do here. Anything on the water you can think of, there's probably some kind of tour for it. And one thing to keep in mind is you don't necessarily have to book through Royal Caribbean, right? Like you can book through anybody. You just come here and then you just take care of yourself. The Royal Caribbean, the advantage of doing it through Royal Caribbean is they, you know, kind of take care of you and direct you and have the tickets, that type of thing. Um, so, and you know, if for some reason it's running late, the boat will wait for you. As opposed to like, if you book your own excursions, then you're on your own. So there's a certain freedom to that and possibly less expense because you're not booking through a third party, but there, there's risk, right? You don't know the quality of it, at least anything from Royal Caribbean, they'll handle if something you know bad happens, in theory. It's Atlantis over there again. Everybody do it! to welcome everybody on board Sea Horse number three. Our captain yeah, for the morning is Captain Roll, better known as Captain Spanky. Everybody yeah. give it up for Captain Woo! Spanky. Yay! Here we go. Yeah, 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 I'll be your crew member for the day along with Conrad to the box. Yeah, and our bartender for the day is the lovely Makisha, the lady to the box with the pink shirt. Makisha. And she'll be assisted by Keante. That's the young lady at the box as well, all right? All right. We're going to have you guys for the next three hours. Right. While we're moving, you guys can walk around the boat freely. Please not hang your arms or legs over the edges. You do not want any accidents, okay? That's a really cool visual here of the water rushing along the uh, over the mesh here with the people laying on it. it Take us about 45 minutes to get to where we're going. I think you heard that in the speech. And then we'll snorkel for an hour and then everybody comes back on board and we drink and head back. We have green coral and fire coral at the bottom on the reef, all right? Please do not touch the coral. Touching the coral can leave a burning sensation for up to four days, all right? Very annoying and irritating. Please do not touch the coral, okay?
comes up with a coconut boat. <laughs> We're gonna get coconut with rum in it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. With rum or without the rum? With With the water? With yeah, rum. With rum. Oh, rum. Oh, yeah. With rum. That's Yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> they know fresh or coconut. Oh. oh my goodness, that is fresh coconut. All right. Wow. Let's try this. Turn around. Fresh coconut. Mm. I've not had fresh coconut since I was in Hawaii and I was nine years old. This is incredible. All right. It's a rum so this coconut. is the rum kind of coconut. Oh, no, no. oh my goodness! Oh no! It slid right out, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get that. Okay. Yep. Wow. Our coconut slid right out, but works pretty good. And try this again. You can now eat this whole thing. Oh my. Right, I knew you'd love yeah, it. Yeah, it's rum and coconut. Mm -hmm. Don't get much pressure. <laughs> mm. Doesn't get much Hard to eat with a straw because there's, it's thick. We'll just drink it out in a minute. They said this is like your spoon. Here for $10, you can get uh, just coconut with like coconut water for five. And otherwise, if you want rum, that's 10. We opted for the rum one. I used to watch the love boat when I was growing up. And I've always wanted to drink a drink out of a coconut. When we did our Disney cruise, I drank out of fake coconut. Here's a real coconut that I'm drinking a drink out of. I'm fulfilling a lifelong dream from when I was a kid watching Love Boat to drink a drink out of a coconut. And it was worth it. On our way back from the snorkeling, music playing, Drink in hand, they have an open bar. <laughs> There's Josh's. Uh, these were each gonna be four, or 14 to seven dollars each, 14 together, or we could just pay 20 and do essentially unlimited of these. And yeah, now we're on two each. Or we have another one before we go. <laughs> I'm not usually much of a drinker, but I am on vacation, as you well know if you've watched my vlog. And um, yeah, this was an incredible experience. Celebration. <laughs> so uh, here we are approaching the boat. So this fun trip is almost over. We were just doing some line dancing back there on the way back. So we've had some drinks and we've had some, we've chatted with the f people next to us, and we are heading to the boats now. We've done some line dancing. I know it's almost over this part of the excursion, but that's okay. Josh and I are gonna head in, take a shower, and then go walking around Nassau. So there's still more to come but this part is uh, almost over, and that's sad, because we had a really good time. This was a great excursion. There's our ship, our room. Actually, you can see from here, 
not so easy, but essentially it's like, where's my finger? Uh, like there -ish is where our room is on the ship. Just past that cantilever thing like I talked about before over here. Um, yeah, it's uh, been a pretty cool cruise so far and it's still not over yet. So uh, yeah, these ships are enormous. Like you have no concept of how big they are until you stand next to one. Even if you've seen one on TV or you've seen one in pictures, even a person standing next to it, until you're on it, you just have no idea. And it's a uh, pretty amazing and so far a great experience. That could be that I've had a bunch of Bah Bahama Mamas because we ordered that um, unlimited while we were on the trip back. But uh, I still think it's pretty awesome. This is Parliament Square. I always love the colors here. It's actually complimentary. Yep. Very nice. Oh, pull out a little. You can see the whole thing. So they have Queen Victoria, of course. She's kind of all over this island. And there she is. This contains the Senate building, the House of Assembly, and the Supreme Court. Doesn't look like big, that big to hold all those things, but actually I think it goes further back too. You can see some buildings back there. This is pretty cool actually. I mean, it's essentially the seat of government for the Bahamas since Nassau is the capital. And there's cannons. This is called the Queen Staircase. Josh is gonna read some info about it. It's a walkway of 66 steps in the capital city of Nassau, the Bahama, of the Bahamas. Carved out of solid limestone by 800 slaves between 1793 and 794 to create escape route from the fort that's above it. It's a major landmark of Nassau. The stairs are located at the Fort Fincastle Historic Complex near Bennett's Hill. We're about to head Nassau. to Fort Fincastle. So these, the limestone that was cut out of this area here was used the to build the, the, the fort. fort. And so we're going to walk up the Queen's Staircase up to the port. Excuse me, fort, I should say. All right, going up the steps. We're meeting people going down. They have the right, they have the right direction. <laughs> but ever since I heard this, I thought it would be awesome to go up the stairs. Just pretty cool. They're fairly steep too, and they're not big. Like if you look at the steps, and it's probably hard to tell in the video, but like they're not as big as my foot. So they're steep and they are not very big, but they go up pretty far. Well, here's part of the fort, and they have a little market out front, not surprisingly. You have to pay to get into it, we're not gonna do that. I just wanted to get a view of it. It's a big tower here. Look out for boats so they could protect the island. Here is the fort, pretty cool. And, uh, Lots of sales opportunities over here for souvenirs, which I mean, you know, you come up here, it's cool. I think we got our souvenir though. But this is pretty nifty actually. Yeah, there's people up in it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Ooh, yeah, you can see that same limestone. And then the fine forts of Nassau. Number of them. We're only gonna hit this one probably. Ooh, nice view though. But look at that view. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. When you walk up and up and up, you usually get a pretty good view. The sun's coming back out. You can see Atlantis from everywhere. One thing I find interesting is that, um, oh, hey, over there's the uh, world famous straw market. We got our souvenirs, so we're not really interested in getting anything there, um, which is fine. We're ready to go back. We're a little wiped after this morning. It's very hot right now. Um, and I wanted to see the Queen's Staircase in Fort Pencastle, and we did. One thing I find interesting is that, so people will offer you things on the street, right? Like uh, cigars or whatever else. I don't know what it is about me. Like they'll offer Josh something and then me something, and then they'll be like, hey, eight ball or, um, do you want some uh, blow? I'm like, what is it about me that looks like I might be you using like cocaine? I don't know. Maybe I look like a partier. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. I just, I find it funny 
and curious that uh, they don't ask Josh, but they do ask me. <laughs> so, and it's always a little quieter, right? Like they're like, hey, a Cuban cigar? I'm like, no thanks. And he's like, under their breath, you want some blow? That sort of thing, yeah. So they could probably have deniability if they needed to. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you because I found it very interesting. Not because I care to partake, but I think it's, you know, kind of a, I guess if you're into that and you come here, then finding some is not nearly as hard. I grew up in the Just Say No area, or uh, uh, Just Say No era, and I, my understanding was everyone would be offering me drugs. But you know what? It's the first time it's really ever happened. Today we got a little mouse. At least that's what we think it is for our towel animal. I like it. I've discovered the existence of something today that has changed my life. Apparently, there is a drink called a Mango Tango that is a combination of uh, pina colada with just a little bit of like the mango mix in it. Like if you're making a mango daiquiri or something. It is incredible. Awesome, awesome drink. And I, it's probably not good for me that I learned that this existed. I'm glad I learned it late into the cruise. But not that that mattered. I've been drinking down pina coladas pretty much all cruise long. But this is pretty good. We are heading into Studio B, where they have an ice show. Um, I don't know if they have it every night. They couldn't have it the first night because of all the rocking of the ship. So they added another one, and I don't know if that was last night or tonight, but it's been a long time since I've seen an ice show, so this will be fun, right? Well, Just gotta go down and find some spots to sit.
Here's the menu tonight. Other than the usual stuff, the starters are Greek salad, salmon tartare, Asian style pork tacos, and roasted tomato soup. I'll probably get that soup. Main course is garlic tiger shrimp, chicken corn on blue. That's what I'm getting. I love chicken corn on blue. Steak Diane, grilled lamb chops, and tagliatelle. Or tagliatelle, I think it's telly. Uh, finally, tiramisu, tres leches. Ooh, tres leches. Cherries drubbly. Mmm. That's uh, tempting. Anyway, those are the options for tonight that aren't the usual options. Back at dinner for the third night, uh, three of us ordered the uh, tomato soup, which looks amazing. <laughs> and uh, Janelle got the French onion soup, which still looks good. And uh, they also got the, these were the pork tacos? Pork tacos. All right, here we go. Our dinner has arrived. Uh, three of us ordered the chicken cordon bleu, and we got mashed potatoes instead of fries, which is what it would normally come with. And uh, Sam got the tiger shrimp. Garlic tiger shrimp. That looks pretty good. All right, so we're going to dig into this. I love chicken cordon bleu. I feel like I'm at a uh, dinner theater. Every dinner theater always serves chicken cordon bleu. Mm -hmm. Uh, everyone else's dessert is here but mine. Uh, the apple tart, and these were the tiramisu? Yes. And tiramisu, oh, and you leches. also got the tres leches. So I'm, I'm having the cherry jubas, jubilee, so he's bringing it out now. Typically it's served on, or they light it up on fire. So we'll see if they do that here. It's not on fire, but it is cherry jubilee. It looks very good. But I got it. Yeah, <laughs> except Josh is spilling all over himself. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this, but somebody was over there playing Hava Nagila. There's either a wedding or a bat mitzvah going on over there, but uh, we came here and a bunch of people were wearing white, and we thought, is it like white night? And nobody told us, and we didn't know. No, it turns out that there's something going on over there on the other side of the same floor of us. And there's an actual, like, fiddle player, and he's incredible. in Miami. wanted to give you my thoughts on the final day and overall it was a good trip. The excursions that we did we really enjoyed. The jet skiing was fantastic. I got out of that exactly what I wanted to and the uh, snorkeling yesterday was also the same. I got out of that exactly what I wanted to. I wanted to see some reef and some fish, enjoy time in the Caribbean waters that were warm and comfortable, the boat ride back. We had a great time. Uh, well, first of all, the boat ride out there, we had a great time. The boat ride back, we, uh, they were doing like line dancing and we met some people on the boat that we chatted with. It was just a good time overall. Um, I'm happy that I came to the Bahamas, like Nassau finally, although it's, um, I was, uh, I don't know, I guess expecting more out of that. It was just so commercial. Um, everywhere you went, people were trying to sell you something off the street and uh, I guess I'm just not used to that. Like, I don't live in a culture or in an area where that's common. And so it was a little uncomfortable feeling, and maybe that's me. But, um, yeah, uh, so, uh, you know, all the way up until, you know, drugs I was being offered. So, um, but I never trusted any of it either. Like, if somebody said, hey, Cuban cigar, I didn't trust that it really was a Cuban cigar. Um, and not just some other kind of cigar, right? Like, um... So, you know, somebody's like, hey, you need a taxi? I didn't trust they'd take me where I needed to go and not, you know, take me off somewhere. It was just that kind of feeling. And, and so that might be me or just might be here or uh, Nassau. But um, so I'm glad we went out in and walked around. I did see the Queen's Staircase, which was kind of the one big thing that I wanted to see. It seemed interesting to me. Although when we walked it, I'm like, okay, this isn't exciting as it make it sound. But um, it was, uh, it delivered what it promised. It was the staircase. And there were only 65 steps, not 66 steps, like it always says. Apparently one of them was hidden at one point or covered up, and so now it's uh, 65, but whatever. Um, but yeah, the, the trip overall was pretty good. There were some frustrations that we had. Uh, sometimes it doesn't seem like everybody on the ship knows what's going on or how to do things. Uh, the department seemed very siloed, like... Uh, I had the Coke pass it package, and on the second morning, I accidentally left my cup, the one you can use at the freestyle stations, the Coke freestyle stations, uh, at the 
uh, breakfast table. And so I called downstairs once I realized it um, when we got back. Like we went out for the day and then came back and I realized that I had done that. I called downstairs to the desk and they checked the lost and found. Well, nothing's there. I'm like, well, what do I do about that? They're like, well, you can talk to the bar because they know what to do about that. I'm like, but your guest services, shouldn't you know at least kind of what to do about that? And ultimately it was I could just buy another one if I wanted to, not a whole package, but buy another cup or just order the drinks, you know, from the bar or at dinner, that type of thing. Like you don't need the cup. You just need the cup to do the Coca-Cola freestyle thing. So then yesterday we were at dinner or, or breakfast and I was sitting there and I looked over in the corner and there was these two cups sitting there. I'm like, I think one of those is mine. So I went over there and I grabbed it. Sure enough, it was. Um, and then I thought, well, shouldn't these be in lost and found? Like. <laughs> why Why weren't they lost and found? That's exactly what people would think, right? Like, they'd probably get lost and found. Um, or maybe they thought people would just go back and look where they left it, and maybe I should have done that. I just thought it would get into lost and found. Anyway, there's little things like that. We uh, we bought a picture to download, and the instructions weren't immediately there. There was nobody at the, the picture place. And we were pushing all the buttons. Like, we were pretty tech-savvy, and it didn't give us directions on how to download the picture. So I went to the guest services, and I said, hey, it didn't give me instructions. I don't know what to do. Now, you have to talk to those people because they're the only ones who know how to do that. Like, on this entire ship, they're the only people who know how to do that. Okay, great. What? Every time we went to guest services, they didn't have an answer for something. So, they were pretty worthless as a, in comparison to the one at Disney who were on top of everything. No matter what your problem was, they'd just get the right department involved if they needed to. So, there are some frustrations there. Um, food overall was, was pretty good. Um, the Windjammer stuff, breakfast and lunches were perfectly adequate. Most of dinner was adequate, although there were a few stars, like the uh, the beef dish we had the second night. That was delicious, really, really good, like top notch. But everything else was just fine, um, which is okay. You know what I mean? I I don't expect every meal to knock my socks off, and I expect it to be four star, you know, five, five star Michelin chefs running the ship. But um, that was uh, it was fine overall. But as far as the time we had, I think it was pretty good. We um, met some people. We met our dinner companions, Sam and um, Janelle. Really enjoyed that. Looked forward to seeing them every night after that first night, just to talk about our days. Uh, they're just very interesting people. It was a lot more fun than if it was just Josh. And I liked, I love Josh, but if we were spending all day together, then it was nice to have some other people to talk to as well. Um, and they were uh, very good companions, you know, um, conversationalists, and so we had a really good time hanging out with them. The comedy show that we saw was amazing. The ice show that we saw, I thought was amazing. Josh thought the songs were sort of questionable. I'm like, no, I think these are pretty good. They were newer versions, or different versions of, of songs you already knew. Not every one of them landed well. It depends on what your taste is, but I, I thought the ice show was great in comparison to the other show where I thought the performances were amazing, but I thought the show was had some potentials there that were missed and maybe the overall theme was um, kind of uh, I don't know I didn't work well for me as a jukebox musical when you chose songs that were only sort of related but if you listen to the rest of the lyrics it really had nothing to do with whatever you're talking about you know like that song lies 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 um, yeah okay get it. I get it Pinocchio um, you know tells lies and his nose grows and they also had like Annie Lennox um, your rhythmics, what I lie to you, like, okay, if you listen to the rest of that song, it has nothing to do with it, it just has the word lie in it, and anyway, that frustrates me, <laughs> it's like, it's not, and I get it, jukebox musicals, are, you have to take them with a grain of salt, but anyway, it did bother me, um, but yeah, um, I would do another Royal Caribbean cruise, I don't think I would do this one again, I feel like we'd get diminished returns, it would just end up being the same thing, that we did last time, going to the same places, doing the same things. Um, so I would do it again, but not this again. Um, I would definitely come back to Miami. I, I thought Miami was pretty cool. And um, if we went to Nassau again, I think I'd have a better plan and maybe spend much of the time on the ship. I, I didn't need to go in there and do too much. I got out of it what I wanted to, and now I'm ready to go to different places. But anyway, thank you for joining us on our three-night cruise to the Bahamas. We weren't sure it was going to happen because of the hurricane, but ultimately everything worked out fine, and we had a good time. And I hope you did too.